Have you ever been at a conference in a big room like this, and you've been anticipating hearing this speaker all day long, you sit down, and then they open their talk with, good morning. I said, good morning. Ugh. Cringe fest. <laughs> Welcome to the David Goat Show. Uh, the world is moving back to in-person events, and even though you need your on-camera skills that I talk a lot about, today is about on-stage skills. If you're the speaker, I'm about to speak to a big group like this, one way to never start your talk is to say, good morning. Come on, you can do better than that. Ugh. The reason we cringe at that is because the speaker hasn't earned our response yet. Don't demand that I do something just to try to quiet down the room. Say something relevant, riveting, and attention-getting and earn a response from your audience. So what can you do to start a talk instead of, good morning? <laughs> the first is to launch right into a provocative question that's related to the topic that day. Maybe, so what is the problem we're solving today? Or like the question I asked at the beginning of this video, have you ever cringed when somebody opened their mouth and started a speech that way? It immediately draws your audience in. They mentally answer the question, especially if you give them a little pause after the question. And they're suddenly interested and on the edge of their seat, waiting to hear what you have to say. So starting with a provocative question is a great way to start. Second way is to launch right into your first story. Maybe you have an example story that uh, epitomizes the struggle or the conflict or whatever it is you're talking about and cut right to the chase. There I was, just a half mile from the finish line and my legs cramped up to the point that I can no longer move them. Go on. <laughs> See what I mean? First words out of your mouth launch into the story, believe me, that audience will quiet down right away because they don't want to miss what's coming next. So start with a question, launch right into your story and cut to the chase. And the third way that I've heard is very effective is to start with a, a piece of data or some fact that's going to grab their attention. First words out of your mouth. Did you know that four out of five dentists agree that one out of five dentists is wrong. Okay, that's a little bit of a joke. I don't know if that applies to the talk you might give, but that kind of a factoid is also like throwing down the gauntlet of, oh, here's some interesting data. Do you agree? Disagree? Is it surprising to you? The audience will react to that because you're putting something out that immediately relates to what you're about to talk about next. Provocative question, a story, an alarming fact. Those are three great ways to start. And you don't have to force your audience with that cringeworthy good morning. Instead, you're going to draw them right in and get them ready to listen to what you have to say. That's the quick tip on the David Go Show today. If you want to hear more tips about on stage speaking or on camera speaking, I'll be covering both. Drop it in the comments below. I'd love to do a show just for you. Have a great day.